Okay, the first thing we do, get our washed strawberries and just get rid of the green the stem. Just get it all bunched up. Now I use a spoon because after a while your fingernails and you start to get a bit sore. And you can also dig out any bits which are overly white. So just keep doing that until you've got a nice big bunch of strawberries. That one's not so good, so we'll chuck that away. Okay, now I just want to get your stick blender. Pop it all up. Now we've got a smooth puree. There's no lumps, no big chunks really. Next we're just going to strain the pulp. You don't have to do this, but Strawberries can be a little bit gritty, especially when they're all blended up like this. And I'm trying to get a nice smooth flavoured ice cream. Sorry, smooth textured ice cream, to say. So I'll just use the back of a spoon, push it through my sieve. It's quite thick. Now it takes a couple of minutes to get this all through. But the end result is well worth it. So I highly recommend you do this. And just keep pushing that through until every bit of the delicious strawberry pulp is been strained. Now we're pretty much at the end of it. Just get the remnants off the bottom into the pot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck the pot on the stove just to warm it through. So we've got the strawberries on the boil here. We're just simmering away. What I want to do is reduce this by half. Strawberries contain a lot of water and unfortunately the downside of that when you're doing a low carb no sugar ice cream is that ice cream tends to go extremely hard without the sugar. So if I can concentrate the flavours and reduce the water, it might assist me in my end product. That, and now I've got to have an intense strawberry flavour in my ice cream, which is ultimately what I want. Now what I've got here is the juice, and there's lightly just a little bit of zest from one blood orange. that in there just to give it a little bit of more depth of flavour. Okay, just got a little bit of erythritol. Which is fine in low carb cooking. Whisk it up. Just break up all the lumps. Okay, strawberries are still simmering away, just trying to get that reduced, but yeah. utilize some of the heat that's there, obviously it's not going to evaporate very well, and just make my custard. So it's going to take a little while to heat up, but once it's a bit warm, you pretty much just start stirring it and do not stop. The only time you end up stopping is when the custard's made. Okay, custard. After I've added the extra two yolks, it's nice and thick. I don't know if she can see the consistency. It's 
turn that heat off. And pour my custard mixture in there. There's a few lumps in the custard and everything, it's fine, it's going to be strained anyway. just a matter of mixing the two and combining them. The strawberry and the custard. And just to make sure we get all the lumps out, I'm just going to strain it. everything once again just push that through just get all the lumps out custard pretty much ready. You may have noticed I haven't put the sweetener in yet. The sweetener dissolves pretty quickly so I decided to leave that to last. Okay so I'm going to put about the equivalent of one cup of sugar. This is stevia natural sweetener from plant extract. Just going to mix that through. Now the last few batches of ice cream, low carb ice cream, have been extremely hard once they've been left in the freezer to be used another day. So one of the things is I read is you can put alcohol in. So as much as so I want to just put a little bit of as much as two tablespoons one two really really nice vodka by the way highly recommend it Siroc it's quite expensive here in Australia. Can be at times anywhere up to $90 a bottle. But the alcohol, with any luck, should stop it from going stupidly hard. Okay, now what you want to do is get a nice long piece. plastic film put it loosely in there what you want to do is pat it down on your custard this will prevent it from getting it skin developing on it and that way when you pour it into your ice cream machine you haven't got a do another strain. Now that's still quite warm. If you put it into an ice cream machine now, all the cold will just be absorbed and you'll end up with a room temperature custard and your ice cream machine will lose all its chill and won't be actually do its job. So we're going to chuck this in the fridge just until it's nice and cool, probably six seven hours maybe overnight it's always good <laughs> 